the 2020-21 Scottish Premiership season is underway and the usual suspects got themselves off to a fantastic start. But there were a couple of surprises in match number one. Let's take a little look. Next. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction show. Today, we're going to take a look back at match number one out in the Scottish Premiership, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Scottish Premiership related, Black and Rose related. Whoa! Football related! I'm on a haircut and a shade! That's right, boys and girls, we get it all here. And uh, one Ruski. Now, if you're familiar with the channel today, we're going to take a look back at your predictions and my predictions. And that is it. We're not going to be jumping into next week's matches. That's going to be coming in a preview video. And that is where you're going to stick in your predictions for the next match day. Not in this one. This is just to see where you rank. In the very first Prediction League update. Oh, yeah. And we'll get to that in just a second, boys and girls. I'm going to make a shout out. Oh, yeah, to the Patreons. That's right. The Dirty Dozen. Oh, yeah, we got a dozen. That's right. Uh, Dylan Goddard recently joined us. Respect to him, of course. Uh, he joins the William Shepard, Elgin Cow, Bianca Molnar, Daniel Mella, Cody Coho, Jacob Johansson, Tom Beresford, Tom Clark, John Spurn, Russell Frost, and, of course, Aztec Marky B. Mark. Boys and girls. So they are the Patreons. Uh, if anybody else wants to join those illustrious VIP gang in the old uh, Dirty Dozen, get in the old description. There is a link down there. And maybe, just maybe, Maybe I'll pop the link on the screen right there. So let's let's jump into it and take a little look, of course, at how we all got on. Uh, well, how, let's take a look at the results first. So let me jump into the old Vortex and we'll have a little gander. So let's get into it, boys and girls. These were the games that did take place this past weekend. And uh, yes, uh, Rangers got themselves off to a fantastic start down at Pataudry. Uh One-nil winners in the end. Uh, Ryan Kent with a one-nil goal on the 21st minute. As you can see from the starting 11, uh, Alfredo Morelos did start the game. He didn't. He's not gone yet. Of course, Lille are in the driving seat to try and bring him over to, to French football. But there's also, there's also a couple of Premier League clubs sniffing around. Uh, and it's apparently in Steven Gerrard's hands to see whether or not he goes or stays. Also, John McLaughlin on the bench there. Of course, he's a rover. he was a Rovers target uh, before the start of the Scottish season. He's obviously since joined Rangers uh, there, of course, transfer window is wide open and I do expect some activity from Rangers over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, as for Aberdeen, not the greatest start for them. This was always going to be a banana skin for Rangers, but they sidestepped it quite comfortably uh, with a 1-0 win. Banana skin averted. Of course, Aberdeen did have a man sent off. Lang was sent off on the 87th minute. Uh, he was. Was he a substitute? Uh, I can't see it. I can't see it on the old uh, on the old graphic there. Um, but anyway, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as, as for the, the statistics over there, 15 shots on the day for uh, Rangers, four on target, six corners for them. Aberdeen, just the four shots, zero on target, two corners. And they were more savvy with the fouls. As for possession, Aberdeen had more of that. Of course, it was the final score, just the one nil in the end. Moving forward into the next game, it was Dundee United. Is this Tanner Dice? Is that where they play their football? Uh, up against St. Johnston, that's right. Though, of course, returning to the top flight uh, up in Scotland again, starting 11s on your right hand side there. Uh, any familiar faces? Of course, St. Johnston now managed by ex Rover uh, Callum, uh, Callum Davidson, former left back, left back in the changing rooms, that's right. No, and former Scottish international as well. So, yeah, great, uh, great performance uh, in the end for the Super Jays, um, but not really. Uh, it was 1 1 in the end. Uh, Craig got himself uh, a goal. Clark actually opened up the scoring for Dundee United from the penalty spot. No, Halloran got himself sent off for a second bookable uh, fence. As for the statistics, uh, it was uh, more in favour for uh, Dundee United. They did have 16 shots on the day, four on target, three uh, corners as well. 12 fouls for them, nine shots on the day for Super Jays, four on target and three corners as well. Eight fouls, uh, of course, a couple of red card, well, red card to boot. As for possession, Dundee United bossed that one as well, 61% compared to 39. So a return to Scottish football for Dundee United and they got themselves up and running with a point. Uh, so not too shabby. Next up, down at Easter Road, it was Hibs. Uh, they took on Kilmarnock ended up 2-1 winners for the for the hosts on this one uh, with Boyle with a brace, Burke with the other goal for uh, Kilmarnock on the 44th minute a um, uh, bit of transfer news I think in, in, in the works for Hibs, Kamari or whatever it's going, it looks like he's going back to Switzerland the Swiss international, um, of course Rangers were, they didn't have him last time out uh, but it doesn't look like they need him with uh, Martin Boyle up top and of course I think that's that's the, the, the player they need to keep a hold of the most got himself a brace uh, this past weekend, uh, 11 shots for Hibs on the 
the day. Three on target, two in the back of the net. Uh, five corners, 13 fouls as well for Hibbs. As for Kilmarnock, two, uh, 12 shots uh, for them. Two on target, uh, one in the back of the net. Four corners and 12 fouls. Actually, Kilmarnock did boss possession on this one. 55% for them, 45 uh, for Hibbs. But they're up and running. They got the three points and they're up and at them. Next up, it's St. Mirren. Uh, they took on Livingston uh, and they did win, didn't they? One nil in the end. Uh, Tate with the one and only goal on the 30th minute. Um... 46% possession for St. Mirren, 54 for Livingston. Might, they must see themselves a little bit hard done by with that one. Um, and again, with the starting 11s on them, Johnny, Jonathan Abika as the main man uh, last season for St. Mirren. But he didn't get the goal this time around. Five shots for St. Mirren on the day, two on target, one in the back of the net, two corners as well. 16 fouls for them, 16 fouls for Livingston as well. 12 shots on the day for Livingston, uh, three on target and five corners, zero goals for them. But St. Mirren will be happy as Larry with that one. Uh, they get some three points in the bag and they'll move on to the next one. Uh, we'll talk about the next one tomorrow in the preview for that bad boy, so make sure you stick around for that. Of course, Celtic, the defending champions, put on a barnstorm of a display. 5-1 winners over, over Hamilton. Uh, Edouard got himself a hat-trick. How long can he stick around at the Scottish Premiership? I'm sure the, the club's in the Premier League and, of course, uh, on the continent. They'll be looking at him. I think Leicester sniffing around. Frimpong also got himself a goal and Kil Kilmala as well. Uh, as for, for Hamilton, they actually got a uh, 34th uh, minute consolation goal. They kind of put uh, maybe they put the frighteners on Celtic a little bit because that uh, halved their deficit at that point to 2 1. Anyway, 25 shots on the day for Celtic, 15 on target, five in the back of the net, 11 corners as well, nine uh, fouls. Meanwhile, seven shots on the on the day for Hamilton, two on target, one in the back of the net, eight corners and eight fouls. As for possession, as you can see, one sided show here, 80%, uh, 81% for, for Celtic and just 19 for Hamilton as well. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, you know, of course, Celtic are going to run away with the majority of these games. If you are predicting, uh, in the prediction, it's pretty much a nailed on. You just, you just predict Celtic Rangers throughout until they meet head-to-head -head, and at least you're going to get to yourselves too. Anyway, 5-1 on the day for Celtic, which puts them in command and I'm sure top of the table. We'll have a look at the table in just a second. Uh, into the last one, it was on Monday night. This was the bit of the, the shocker, really. Of course, Motherwell finished the season uh, last year in third. Of course, it was a points-per-game basis, uh, but they got themselves found out uh, just yesterday. Ross County 1-0 winners. Stewart from the penalty spot in the 24th minute. Lang actually got himself sent off uh, late on this game, 87th minute. Uh, nine shots on the day for Ross County. 15 for Motherwell, 3 on target for Ross County, just the 1 for Motherwell, that's, you know, goal shy or shot shy, that's kind of like a Rovers statistic there. As for the corners, 5 corners for Ross County, 8 for Motherwell, they didn't make those set pieces count. Uh, 24 fouls for Ross County, 12 for, uh, for Motherwell, including that red card, and of course possession was bossed by Motherwell, but in the end, 1-0 winners for Ross County. So those were the results and of course some of the statistics and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you like that stuff. If you do, give this video some love and of course we're going to take a look at your predictions and my predictions now. Uh, and before that, uh, are we going to take a look at the table? Let's take a look at the table. Well, this is the situation as it stands over in the Scottish Premiership. Celtic do lead the way with three points on goal difference. Celtic are second, Rangers third, Ross County are in joint third as well. Uh, you can even throw St. Mirren in the mix. And then the, the draw specialist, Dundee United, St. Johnston and then the chasing pack who have yet to get off off the, off the board. That's the situation as it stands. Uh, after match number one, there are the results there and of course the situation in the table. But how did I get on and how did you guys get on with your own predictions? Let's take a little look, shall we? Okay, folks, now before we get into taking a look at our prediction, now before we get into looking at my prediction, of course, your guys' prediction, I want to recap, yeah, give you a bit of a, uh, a reminder of the cut, of the grading criteria before we jump into the prediction league and all that kind of structure. If you get 0 to 1, you're in the uh, shit face gang, boys and girls, but fear not, I don't think there's any of those today. Uh, 2 to 4, you're in the straight face gang. 5 Five plus, you're in the top banana. So let's take a look at how I got on first. Uh, and here are my predictions at the top. Uh, and the results are there at the bottom. So, of course, uh, Rangers did start off uh, tip-top form with a 1-0 away win against the banana skin, which was Aberdeen. Actually got this one bang on the nose, boys. Uh, Dundee United, I went with a 2-1 win for them over Callum Davidson's uh, uh, Super Jays. But unfortunately, I got that one wrong. Um, but I'm quite happy that I got that wrong because, of course, x Rove. I want to see him do very, very well. And I've also signed Craig Conway quite recently. So I don't want to mess them up. And they've also got uh, uh, matey boy Colin Hendry, son leading the line. So, of course, it's like a mini Rovers 11 over there. Uh, but I got that one wrong anyway, regardless. Uh, moving forward, Hibbs did beat Kilmarnock 2 0 in the end. Actually, got this one close to the money. So, I'll give myself a point on that one. St. Mirren and Livingston was a, was a draw in my eyes, but uh, actually, it was a 1 0 win. So, not too shabby. Just one goal shy of that bad boy. Of course, Celtic destroyed Hamilton uh, 5 1. Actually, went with a 3 0. Not too bad on that pick, if you, if you don't mind me saying. Of course, Ross County uh, got the surprise of the week 
weekend in my eyes uh, with a 1-0 win over Motherwell. I'll actually want the 2-2 draw. So, uh, for me, I'll put myself in the straight face gang with three. Who's with me, brothers? Who's with me? Well, we're going to take a little look. LG and Cal, respect to you, sir, for being a Patreon. Well done to you. You also did very, very well as well. Not too shabby. In fact, to be honest with you, the majority of us, if not all of us, were in the straight face gang. Uh, Tajello, he did pretty well as well. Uh, Yannick Bustler, not too shabby. Nathan Heaver, welcome back. We're in the straight face gang. Roberto Hollis, not too bad. Deepak the Great, not too shabby. And Cody Caho, not too bad. There are more. I want to stop myself right there. Uh, at the end of what, once I've gone through all of yours with, with your grading criteria, we will see where you lie in the prediction league. Of course, uh, these are just sort of a, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you your numbers here and now. You'll see them at the end of it. You, you'll see what I mean. Just bear with me, boys. Just bear with me. Okay. Plowing forward. Uh, we are QPR. Not too bad. Il Machino did not know Isa. He did okay. Football predictions also did pretty well. Harley Bado, not too shabby. Clo club skills, also not too shabby. Marcus Calderon, not too bad. Joel Cook, Ultra Oma Murat, Matt Guna, Gunner, he also did very, very well. Jaden FC, not too bad. And Shane O'Donnell also did very, very well. Of course, it looks a bit boring at the moment because everyone's got the straight face gang and I think it's all the way through, but we'll get to it. We'll get, just bear with me. Uh, Bianca Moller, respect to you for being a Patreon and of course, top, top banana with your predictions as well. Matt Chapman, he did two of them. Uh, I'll, I'll let it slide, not too shabby. Fernando Josias Garcia Goodmund, he also did very, very well. Football map and not too shabby. Matt, Mr. Matt Russ, also very, very good. Shepard, well done to you, sir. You are a prediction master per Patreon as well. MSN Vaults, not too shabby. Leeds 2020, not too bad. Mark Chapman again. Uh, Big Victor, not too bad. And Mike Gallagher. So after all that, boys and girls, of course, everyone's got the straight face game, but there is a clear definition of some leaders, of course, the chasing pack. So let's get into it, boys, and take a little look at the very first prediction league. As you can see, Leeds 2020 is amongst a whole cluster of you guys uh, with 33%. Then there's a whole bunch of you on 50%. But there is the top boys and girls uh, currently leading the line. LG and Cal, Roberto Hollis, Il Michino Di Donosa, Issa, Football Predictions, Harley Bardo, Matt Gunner, Jaden FC, Shane O'Donnell, Mark Chapman, Football Mapper, Big Victor and Mike Gallagher. They are currently the Prediction Kings slash Queens out in the Scottish Premiership. That's right. Of course, after match day morning, it's quite easy to uh, to uh, to be the leader. But what's going to happen after match day number two, boys? And what's going to happen after match day number two? Uh, so make sure you get your, come back tomorrow to watch the preview of that show uh, and we'll uh, get your predictions in there. But of course, well done to all you guys. And of course, a special well done to Elgin Cow. He is a, uh, a patron, so much, much love for you, boy. Um, but yes, well done to everybody for, for all taking part. You guys are already one step ahead of everybody else. Whoever joins in later will be playing catch-up. That's the situation as it stands in the Old Prediction League, out in the Scottish Premiership. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it does. It, you know, I don't have to do too much more explaining than that. But yeah, it's, it, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, of course, I'm back to work now, so it's you know, my time is a little bit scrambled so I, I do apologize if these 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 videos are coming a little bit uh, all over the place but uh, I'm trying to get into a new schedule it's just a little bit tricky anyway boys and girls that's it hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up and of course if you are new smash your subscribe but I keep you bang out today with all things Scottish Premiership related Black and Rovers related world football related we all know we boys under one rooski if you want to go that extra mile and want to support the channel in another way you could check out the old Patreon uh, there was a link down below patreon.com and that's a, a bit of exclusive information now, the, the document I use to, to do the calculations and, of course, the rankings and all that kind of stuff uh, will be a Google uh, will be a Google Doc, and I'm going to make it accessible for all Patreons who can see me editing the information live. That's only to Patreons. It will be on the, the Patreon page this week. Um, of course, uh, it, it, it's, it's a little bit... It's a little bit comp uh, complicated at the moment, but uh, I'll get it up there and hopefully I've got to get the, the wife who is a bit of a whiz uh, to help me with, to make it look, look a little more slicker. And of course, uh, once the numbers and the weeks, the match days go by, there's going to be more calculations. And all. This, was, this was okay, but once they're up to match day number 16, I want to I wanna have, of course, a leaderboard for the week and then also an overall leaderboard, that sort of stuff. But anyway, Patreons, you'll be able to access that data live. As I, as and when I sit back, maybe on a on a Tuesday night in the middle of the day or something, I'll be I'll be smashing it, and you'll be like, oh shoot, he's he's editing the 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 prediction league. Let me go have a little look. You'll all you'll all have access to that. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna get out of here. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see match number two and the Scottish Premiership and see if you can get yourselves outright leader or get yourselves back in the game, boys and girls. Of course, the winner of the prediction league will get some merchandise of some sort, whether it's a T-shirt with Prediction King uh, face on there or something. Well, again. 
again, I figured all that out later. I'm still, I'm still in the current season. It's still crazy. It's all crazy. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm out of here. Give the video some love. Smash your subscribe and I'll see ya on the other side. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.